Hi Stamp Club members, it's Dee. Today we'll be making this chalkboard and actually using the chalkboard technique on it. How cool is that? A nice cute little chalkboard. I found the inspiration online and I modified some of the instructions just so it would be easier. They kind of over engineered it and we've got a simpler way of doing it. It really needs minimal um, materials, but it's so it's such a super cute card. Start out with a piece of 4 by 11 piece of cardstock. And then for our wood trim around, it's 3 8 inch strips. Um, I used a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. This is in the retiring color Sierra Sand, but um, you know, creme cake or any of the brown tones will work for you, or you know, whatever color that you might like. And starting out with three or four strips is great. It depends on whether you want to do the front and the back part of your chalkboard. We're just going to do the front part for our stamp club project. So after you have the cardstock folded in half, um, what we want to do is create the legs of the chalkboard. And again, this is where they kind of had it over engineered. And what I did is I modified it for us so that um, it's easier to cut that out. Start out with a piece of scrap cardstock, three and a half by one and a half inches. And what I did first is, so that's your, you know, you fold the, fold it in half your cardstock. At the bottom of the cardstock, place your three and a half by one and a half piece of cardstock and trace around. And after you have that traced, take your scissors and just cut out, you know, cut it out. Don't worry about the trace marks or the cut being just perfect because our little wood frame is going to cover up some of those imperfections. So don't spend a lot of time trying to make it perfect because it's when we do our um, layering for our border look on the chalkboard, it's going to cover up any of those little glitches. So just use your template, cut out the bottom, and voila, we have our little chalkboard um, base. Now that was way easier than the instructions I found online. Believe me, believe me. Next, what we want to do is take those three eighths strips and, um, you know, you can go ahead and pre-cut them down to five and a half. I always like to just make it a little longer and then adhere it and then I just kind of trim it up. That's my personal preference. What I did on the three eighths strip is to have a little wood grain look to it. If you have a wood grain stamp, you could stamp the wood grain um, you know, kind of feel to it. I didn't have a wood grain background stamp, but I did have the wood grain embossing folder. So, um, what we're going to do first, I've gone ahead and got the strips embossed for you with the wood grain embossing folder. And just to really pop those, um, you know, the texture of it, I'm taking my sponge dauber and um, I got soft suede ink. Any darker brown tone will just kind of pop that highlight of the wood grain. I don't want to do it too crazy. I just want enough to, um, you know, to show that it is that wood grain. And I'll do that with all of them. So let's begin to build the border, the wood um, frame for our chalkboard. I've got the um, 3 8 inch strips of our brown tones. I've got them sponged. I've got them inked so they have a little pop of texture. And I'm going to start with the outer frame. And this is where I say you can just come on the back side then and match it up perfectly. And you can see that, that um, the 3 8 is a little larger than our legs, which is why I said like if you're trimming out that three and a half and one and a half inch little notch there, don't you know don't sweat it if it's not you know, even Steven when you trim it because we're going to hide it anyways. So I like starting with the outer edge and then with our smaller pieces come on the inside. I purposely cut them just a tad bit longer. I started out with a three and a half inch. Again, I'm just going to use Tombow and here again is where we, we cut it out down at the bottom, the, our little notch. 
and it's going to so cover up any of those imperfections. Okay, so I've got that down. I've got a little overhang, so with my paper snips, I'm going to come in here and trim it up. It actually looks kind of neat if you leave just a tad bit of space. Um, here, I don't know, it has a little rustic feel for it. I'm old enough that I remember maybe not standing chalkboards in school, but definitely we had chalkboards, um, not whiteboards or smart boards or any of those things. Okay, so there's our little frame. So super cute. So if um, so, that's the basis of our card base. And so now it's time to learn this chalkboard technique. To do the chalkboard technique, um, there's several different methods out there. What I like to use is um, Versamark white embossing powder, Whisper White craft ink, and then of course you're going to need a heat tool to do some embossing. So I'm going to get my chalkboard out here first. And with this one, um, this was super cute, and I wanted to add a banner on it, and these images are just a tad high. So if you're going to add a banner, which is what our final project in the sample is going to be, we want to make sure that we leave maybe the top fourth of it open so that we don't cover up any images. So we'll modify this. Okay, so I've got my images that I have here. Um, most of them are from the Best of Birthdays images, and then I have a, a demonstrator-only stamp set um, for another of the phrase. But um, grab your, you know, your favorite stamp set to do this. All right, so I'm going to first go ahead and put down my Happy Birthday image down at the bottom, stamping it with Versamark. I'll make sure I've got it going the right way. I tend not to put my labels on it until I do it for class, so I'll definitely have them on before the girls come over later today. And I'm going to stamp it towards the bottom. Okay, so we're not gonna, it's not gonna be very exciting just yet because we can't really see it with Versamark. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and, and stamp the Celebrate. Alrighty, and I've got that going this way. Versamark, and then I'll put down the embossing powders. So I'll do those two images first so that you can see you know, how this works. Typically, you could, um, with embossing powder, you want to do embossing buddy, which takes the static off of it. But actually, for the chalkboard technique, um, you know, the whole thing of chalkboarding is to make it look real, um, you know, like that there's some of the chalk residue around. So actually for this particular um, card, we don't really have to use the embossing buddy because, again, it's like the whole thing is to make it look like there's chalk residue on it. Okay, and just kind of flick it off and... Do it a little more, maybe a little too much residue. Take a paintbrush and um, like a little one, and you can so get some of those little specks off. So I'm taking the Stampin' Up heat tool, and you can see when it starts, the embossing powder starts to get heat activated. It actually changes color. It gets the white embossing powder gets more pronounced. And you definitely, definitely want to keep going back and forth until you're sure that it's all heat activated. Otherwise, your image will smudge. So can you kind of see the difference between activated and non-activated? Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get our Celebrate done, too. With the heat tool, you want to make sure that you keep moving it around so that you don't burn or scorch your paper. Got my images heat activated now. Okay, so that would that's the difference of kind of shows you the embossing buddy too. Like this one, I did use it, and that's the beauty of the embossing buddy. 
Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing to the top two images, only making sure that they um, go a little lower on the, on the chalkboard, and I'll be right back. So now it's just a matter if we want to, you know, keep adding some decoration to our chalkboard. And of course the answer is yes. Yes, we do. I've got some um, ribbon that on here, you know, just by adding a few little doodads, some flowers or whatever, that would really dress that one up. And again, that one's the one that I stamped too high. And, whoops, here we go. So I made a little banner using Epic Day. That's some designer paper that's available as a sneak peek through April 2013. And then it's going to be in the new 2013-14 catalog. And I used the mini um, modern or the mini label punch to get that, get the little banner. And I've got the um, Calypso Coral Baker's Twine and went ahead and made a little banner with that. So now, um, if you want to make sections, um, take your white gel pen and you know grab a straight edge and start blocking out the images. So I'm going to start with this one and get my white gel pen going. Sometimes you might need some scrap to kind of get your gel pen started. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to just box that up. There we go. And I'll turn it this way and box it. The happy birthday. There we go. So, you know, you can just kind of maybe box part of it or all of it. Here's the celebrate. I could come in here and you know, maybe do that too. Just kind of, you know, you can section it off, kind of have some fun with it. Do one more section up here. Probably, um, if I would, the tip might be to section it off before you go forward with doing some of your items. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is so off center. Square yours up a little bit. Doing it at an angle sometimes has its ups and downs. Okay, so now I'm ready for my banner. And I can go ahead and just put a little glue, put a little Tombow in the corners to do our banner. Such a fun little project. It really doesn't take that long to make this cute card. Once you get your um, chalkboarding technique down, it's like it goes super fast. I'm just going to put some of the, the banners up in the corner. And of course we can play around with, oh my, Lantis. There we go. Sorry about my arms in the road. Get our banner down for now. And with some mini glue dots, take our little bows that we made up ahead of time. You could put brads up here, flowers, all sorts of fun stuff. This is um, Daffodil Delight and Basic Gray Striped Ribbon, or Stitched Ribbon, excuse me, that I have here. I'll put that up in the corners. Take our paper snips and kind of get our tails of that off. I would normally let that sit for just a couple of minutes to let make sure that the Tombow gets nice and dry and then I would come in and snip off the tails. But that's our little banner card. And then you can play around with positioning your banners and go from there. Such a cute card. Oh my gosh, you guys. Who would not love to receive that as a birthday card? Um, you could go ahead and, you know, stamp additional images and put on the banner there. Um, but for the purpose of our stamp club, we're going to leave it at that. It's all ready for a little birthday chalkboard banner card. Hope you enjoy it, everybody. Happy crafting. Bye-bye.